Hey guys, so for this first station, we are going to be needing a bag full of groceries. If you have dumbbells, if you have kettlebells, or you have some form of weight, that will work as well too. But again, if you don't have anything, just fill one of these canvas bags full of canned goods, and you're gonna be good to go for your first exercise, which is gonna be the Romanian deadlift. So feet nice and stable, feet about hip width apart. From here, I'm gonna be taking that bag, holding it tight in my hand, making sure that it doesn't drift away from me. Nice and stable, I'm gonna be grounding, gripping the ground with my big toe, little toe, and heel. I'm gonna be hinging through the hip. Now, if you're finding that you're touching down with that bag, you can grab a little bit higher as well too. Trying to keep that bag off the ground, and then big stand forward, back to start position. We're gonna be repeating this six to eight repetitions each side. Now, from the side, again, I'm gonna be focusing on tall position, chin tucked back, going through that control hinge. You'll see from the side here that I'm trying to get that back nice and neutral, not flaring up through that rib cage. If you find that you lose your balance at any point, just tap a foot down and then repeat. Once you've done six to eight repetitions with that, you would switch sides. If you want to go for a little bit more of a challenge, there's a few different ways you can modify that as well too. So if you don't necessarily have the weight, you can go through that control hinge, slight bend in the knee, and then turn that into a top or a hop, making sure that you can focus on that landing and then repeat. Now being aware that I have a light directly above me, again, keeping that slight bend in through the knee, control down into that hinge, slight bend in the knee, pop, catch yourself, regain balance, and then repeat. Next movement we're gonna be going through is gonna be a trunk rotational movement. Now from here, we're gonna go into a low to high chop. I'm gonna have this bag of canned goods off to my side here, grabbing it a little bit more so you can actually get the bag a little bit closer in so you don't have things knocking side by side. That being said, I'm gonna have my knee tracking in line with the toe on that front side, bring the weight down, chin rotating down towards the weight. And now from here, I'm gonna focus on a control rotation up, eyes on that top hand, control back down to start position, noticing how my hips stay squared up, my knee stays in line with the toe, and then control back up. Float down, control reach, control down to start position. Now again, you might find that you can go a little bit heavier for this one. We're really just focusing on getting that thoracic rotation on the way up, controlling back down to start position, you might find a little bit more fatigue in through the upper body than directly in through the core, and that's okay. Once you've done six to eight one side, switch, six to eight other side. So imagine that you're going down on the opposite side that's forward. Again, control rotation up, eyes on that top hand, control back to start position, going as heavy as you feel comfortable with. The third and final exercise that we're gonna go through for this station is gonna be a tricky one, but we're gonna need a chair, and from here, I'm going to hinge at the hip, and we're gonna go into a skull crusher from a standing position. So I'm gonna be grabbing firmly onto that chair in front of me, onto the back of the chair. From here, I'm gonna come up onto the balls of my feet. Now, making sure that you feel comfortable in this position, and I'll show you ways to modify, I'm gonna be breaking and bending at that elbow, dropping your forehead down towards the bench or towards the top of the chair. Extend the arms, feeling that tension in through the back of the arms, and then repeat. Control, drive. Now, if that's too difficult, you can walk the feet further in to make it a little bit easier. Again, control down. Notice how I get a little bit more bend at the hip. That means that I get a little bit less of that moment arm, a little bit less torque placed on through the elbow. Extending back on, making sure that I exhale on the way up. If you want to make it really hard, again, still Weight on the balls of the toes, arms further away, but you're gonna sink forward, push up, making sure that you can do six to eight reps comfortably, and then recover. Thanks guys, and more on the next session in a little bit.